Good morning, all of you beautiful people out there. Uh, it is early, child. It is very early. Uh, so I wanted to do a little video because if there's a clip floating around of me being on the reel, I think something in my eye. Of me being on the reel, talking about, um, you know, a situation with me and my husband. And I wanted to just provide you guys some clarity because I feel like you guys aren't getting the full picture, which naturally you wouldn't get the full picture because fucking yeah. Because it was a two minute segment on a talk show. So, you know, they only delegate a certain amount of time for you to talk about something specifically and then they move on to the next topic. So I feel like, let me give the people some clarity because I don't think that you guys understand. Let me give you guys some backstory. So here it goes. Uh, Reggie is 17 years younger than me, which you guys already know. And I was in my mid forties when we got together. Um, we tried to have a child together. Uh, we ultimately ended up having three miscarriages. We then went to an IVF specialist. Um, we appeared on a show called The Doctors talking about this very issue. And I ended up um, with a, an amazing physician called, uh, her name, Tina Coopersmith in California. And so she was helping us with our journey to conceive. Um, I had, at the time that we started with her, six eggs <laughs> on my way out the door to uh, menopause, which I still haven't actually gone through menopause, but I wasn't producing, my body wasn't producing um, a lot of eggs and that's why we were having the miscarriages because even though I had eggs they weren't healthy eggs. Reggie and I decided we would freeze the six eggs that I was able to produce and so we did just that. Now I am 51 years old and um, do I want to have a child with my husband? Absolutely. The reality that you guys seem to be not grasping conceptually is that there's six eggs. Those six eggs may not be healthy, which would ultimately mean, because we did all of what you guys are talking about. We tried to find a surrogate that could carry my egg and all of that process. And that was a lengthy process and we would start the journey and then I would have to go on set. We, you know, go through all the profiles to, you know, to find someone that we'd like to carry the baby. And we couldn't finish the process because I am consistently working. So, that, okay, so now I'm gonna finish the, the statement that I was trying to make before I said that. Anyway, so I was consi I'm consistently working and so, designating the time has been difficult but within that even if we found someone and they were going to carry they were going to imp implant my eggs and hope that they catch with the surrogate there's a very strong possibility and I'm very thankful that my um, physician was honest about this, that we could end up with a special needs child. To me, that is not what I want my husband, um, who has no children, to have to deal with. I'm up in age, I just felt like I didn't want to leave my husband as his only child with me, a special needs child. You guys may not understand that and sorry if you don't. Um, so when I said, take a break, 
What I meant by that, without being able to go in depth, here again, it was a two minute segment. Reggie and I are together pretty much all the time. He runs his businesses as well as my businesses. <laughs> we invest a lot into each other emotionally and spend a lot of time together. When I said take a break, the thought process in my mind was take a break from me emotionally to be able to invest the time mentally that it takes to find a surrogate, a person with healthy eggs. Like it is a process, guys, with healthy eggs. You know, it would take a year, a year and a half just to go through the entire process. So that's what I meant. Not that I would not be present, not that I would not help raise the child, not that we were not talking about a surrogate. I was not saying, go find a girlfriend, stick it in <laughs> and get her pregnant and have a baby. That's not what I meant. But here again, I couldn't go into depth and provide the utmost clarity. I meant take a break from me emotionally and all that you do for me to be a support system for me to go invest that time that is absolutely necessary to find the right surrogate. And so I feel like you guys didn't understand what was actually happening and um, what I ultimately meant. And so I did want to provide a little bit of clarity for those of you who didn't grasp it. Um, but it's not like I, I want my husband to go spend time with someone else. That's not what I was talking about. Um, but I also don't want to, um, I want my husband to have healthy children. I want his legacy to be, um, I want him to be able to, to have children that would carry on his family name. And that is a lengthy, time consuming, emotionally, um, in, in emotionally charged up investment that a person has to make. And I wanted him to be able to do that without everything that he does for me and with me being in the way of that process. So that's what I meant by take a break. Um, so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of clarity. Um, and, um, but I have the most amazing husband. Um, when I talk about patience and understanding and just love of family and care, I could not have asked or prayed any harder <laughs> than to be able to end up with um, my husband, Reggie. And as I said on the show, he opted out of all of that. <laughs> he was like, you know, it, if, if that's the route that I have to take, that's something that I can do later on in my life. But I want to spend the life that we are living um, loving you, just loving you and who you are as a person and where you are in your life, being accepting of that and supportive of that. And so I love my husband so much and I know that he loves me and hopefully you guys just understand um, what I was trying to say now that I've provided a little more clarity. Now I'm going to get up out of here because I actually have a day off. Oh my God. <laughs> I have a day off and I'm going to go have some fun with my husband to which I am very, very excited about. So hopefully you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, live in love you know so much is happening in the world today we just lost uh Dolph and others um and that there's a lot of there's a lot of hurt and pain in the world today and um that's going on in in, in life right now and so you know try to live in love 
try to operate from a place of peace and understanding as best you can and try not to be so negative and just um, enjoy your weekend. Okay, bye guys.